Agent Romanov. You miss me? Oh yeah, Charles. We got ourselves an X-Men fan. Captain. Your Highness. Captain. Big fan. Spider-Man. Hey everyone. I understand that you spent uh, the better part of a month uh, making fun. Uh. Of uh, Infinity War co-star Tom Holland. I mean, look okay. at that guy. Really? All right. You complained about his squeaky voice. Yeah, it's just a problem. He's a wildly annoying person. We have to. We, yeah. Oh, okay, so. As soon as you walked in, oh. I was like, Oh, here we, here we go. Trouble. Anthony 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 Mackie's trouble. Mackie's trouble. Do something. <laughs> Hydro flask. He's coming to say hello to Benjamin. How hey, are baby, you, there's nothing good in there. Is Bring Tom his juice <laughs> volume. <laughs> he gets cranky when he doesn't have his sugar. He really does. And they draw lines from person to person and tell you how you feel about that person. Mm -hmm. Tom, will you keep your, your just identity. keep it down, man? <laughs> Damn, man, you can't even do an interview. He over here yapping. We hazing it's problematic. Man. Are we hazing the new guy? Is that what happens when it's Tom just goes? look, ever since this movie come out, he has two assistants now. This must have kind of been like going to Disneyland, coming to set every day with all of the Avengers in one film. It was good until Tom Holland showed up with his juice boxes and Diva and his assistant. Yeah, but he upgraded now. You saw he did. that. Now ever he has since two the, assistants. Ever since the yeah. new movie came the movie out. Come out. Now he has like, two assistants. And a handkerchief because he's secretly 87. Exactly. British. <laughs> it's always a bright and you never understand what he's saying. It's like, hey, Tom. Like, hey, oh, yeah, he's going around going to save chairs. <laughs> what? <laughs> It's really weird. He's a problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just, it's so it's much. So true. It's, it's so true. It's, get out of here, man. It's so the much. Silent whisperer. Yeah. Yes. God. Oh, I'm like Billy nice Elliot. Nice get nice out of here. Nice it's, it's always so Thank you, you, you very much. Yeah. Seriously, I'm going to have to shop around. They need your help. The I'm team like, needs your help. No, no, it's fine. They're I'm floundering here. They, they say they don't even let Peter Parker it's read the script. Tom's like. I talked to Kevin. This is your last interview you have to do. Great, okay, cool. All right, All right. that's cool. See you later. Mackie and I are best friends. Thanks, Mackie. <laughs> Even if he hasn't admitted it yet, we're besties. Me and Tom don't get along that well. That kid is a huge uh, problem. Detriment. Yeah. Oh, he's it's, a problem. Um, just, you know, he comes to set. He has certain stuff he can't eat. He has to have a protein shake at all times. He has a handler because he's like eight. You know, he's like, he's just a lot. Sounds like a problem. So you don't want to be in the Spider-Man movie? I have no desire to <laughs> well, hang out with Tom. clearly <laughs> just realized that he's not. Yeah. <laughs> After this interview. <laughs> he's a problem. He's a problem. Have you yeah. said this to their faces? He actually has like someone that carries a towel for him. Yeah, and they come and pat, pat, pat. What is Spidey that? can't be too hot. It's, Im it's what, impressive. What is annoying? That's his superpower? Uh, everything, because he's so little. He's like a, uh, he's like a shih tzu, you know? <laughs> Now he's just like, it's like, hey, Anthony. And I'm like, Tom, just stop. Take off the spandex. Stop. Is that Tom Holland? I can't. I, I, I need, listen, I need security to, to put that man away. Spider-Man. You know, it's just, he's just, you know, just guy really having... Really difficult guy. Really difficult yeah. actor to sure be with. Happy to be uh, home. You know, yeah, I'm sure if you're yeah. British, he expects a lot. <laughs> but, you know, the two hour, every two hours he has to have a Capri Sun break for his juice box. Yeah. You know, he has a bunch of friends that comes to set. He's just... How, how do you balance all these egos on set, though? Come on, be honest. I mean... There's uh, really only there, one. There, there is no ego, Tom really. Huh. Yeah, Tom is the Tom. only, like, egomaniac. Tom's and, throwing it off balance yeah. every day. Because he's the littlest guy, you know, and it's like he has yeah, that but, Napoleon. Yeah, you know, exactly. That's exactly. the complex yeah. is yeah. huge. That's how much of a brat he is, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's, he's a, I don't know. It's tough. Yeah. And I look to my right and I see Tom Holland and... That might be the only problem on the Are we done? on that movie. Are we done? They didn't want to punch those perfect teeth of Spider-Man when he actually said that quote about Star Wars and make us feel everybody like really old. Everything also, if we are not, of course. He must have signed lots of embargoes and things like that. Do you worry every day about Mark Ruffalo and Tom Holland giving away the secrets? I don't even know. Well, Tom Holland, forget it. I, I don't. He, him, I know. He would do anything to get attention, so I, I'm, I, I know he's trouble. Just stop. Yeah, he's a, he's a, he's a big problem. I mean, this, <laughs> this kid, I've never, I've never seen anyone. And it's good that he's on Team Iron Man, because he has the same attitude. 
You know, exactly. all of them have to have their breaks for their lattes and their foot rubs and, you know, their kale the salads. Fans. Mm-hmm. Yeah, their fans. Like, he has to have a break every two hours for a juice box. All right. Are we... Are we thank you. Uh, I see Tom Holland and Dave Batista. Scream for that guy, not Tom Holland. Tom's an asshole. All right. So a lot of hair gel. A lot of gel, a lot of mousse. A lot. He has like, you know, we have RDJ in the movie. RDJ is RDJ. Tom has his own base camp. He has like an entourage. It's a lot, man. He's a lot to deal with. I see the two of them over in the corner, and Tom is literally the size of Dave's leg. Right? So I don't know what they're talking about. But Batista jumps up and does like a kick punch move. Oh, the Superman 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 He's teaching him how to And I was like, Superman yo, you're about to kill him. What are you doing? <laughs> so I run over. I'm like, what, what's going on? And then you see Tom try to do it. And it's like, Meh. you know, <laughs> easy stuff. Do you guys do anything to make the new cast members welcome? Like first time Chadwick comes on a set or first time Tom Holland comes on a set. Any kind of anything that goes on. Amongst the, the Tom's family? a little asshole. All right. <laughs> So let's start there. Like one dude literally just has a backpack of juice boxes. Do you really need a Porsche to go to Crafty's? Really? So, he has a saying, Porsche like, golf cart. Is we're going to have to bring this up with the him. The kid's a bit much. All right. Well, he's maybe you're going to have to sit him down and talk to him, you know? Well, I, I mean, you know, he's just, he's, you know, it's too days. much. I'm like Billy Elliot. <laughs> Calm down, all right? But Mark, Mark, Mark is a very sweet man. I didn't know he, I didn't know he was doing that. Live Facebooking from screenings. Yeah, that's crazy. He's a cheeky thing, that one. Well, it's social media is the beginning and the end of all of us. So. You were Billy Elliot. He was. Put your tutu on and calm down, all right? Yeah, he's very agile, isn't he? Wow, all right. It's a lot. It's all love, apparently. It's just, it's too much, man. It's too much. How did he take it? Oh, uh, well, you know, he's one of those kids, when you tell him to shut up, he shut up. But when you leave, he start right back talking. It's a, it's, but you're gone, so yeah, it doesn't matter. And you're leaving, he's texting you. Hey, where'd you go? Uh, How's this dude still alive? He's not a dude. You're a dude. This, this is a man. A handsome, muscular man. A muscular man. <laughs> I was thinking, you know, the journey that Robert Downey Jr. has made. He's the godfather of all this. It has literally been the adventure of a lifetime. I get a little misty thinking about it. So, you know. I lucked out. It's been this witnessing of like people's lives growing and changing. It's been a really cool experience. Working with Lizzie has been really, really awesome. And I think there is something very powerful about being able to play women who do heroic things. And those women are so awesome. So we've had a really good time. Here we are on the set of Avengers. I've been lucky enough, along with other Guardians of the Galaxy, to join up with the Avengers Mm -hmm. and be here and get an opportunity to save the world. Does it make you an Avenger now as well? <laughs> I don't know. I hope maybe like a third string Avenger, yeah. I was one of the founding members, so. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Oh, so he's huge. Well, at first Blanche, it's hard to know what to make a Cumberbatch. And then the more time I spent with him on and off set, I just kind of infatuated with this guy. <laughs> you know, out of all of the people that I've had the good fortune to work with, these two particular guys and the triumvirate that we formed together, it's very special friendship and decade plus of time together. Go team, yeah! Hanging out with everyone on the set is one of the best parts of this job, actually, because it does have this kind of large extended family feel. I had a bit of a bucket list. I wanted to work with Prax, because I thought he'd be good fun proven completely wrong on that front. He was arduous and boring and not particularly funny. Boom!
CGD. For more videos like this, click here. Hi, I'm Cara Delevingne. Please don't forget to subscribe by clicking this button right here. Boop. Thanks for watching.